Hey everyone, I'm Alan Thrall, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to go grocery shopping. I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, but maybe growing up you didn't really go grocery shopping. And now that you're an adult, you just feel a bit lost in the grocery store. Maybe you're just unfamiliar with it all. You go in, you grab some snacks, or you just grab what looks good in the moment. You don't string together enough quality ingredients to last you one week of balanced meals and by Wednesday you're already eating out again. Or maybe you do go in a bit overly ambitious and you buy way too many ingredients and then at the end of the week you end up throwing a lot of it away. So I'm gonna show you how I plan my grocery shopping trips to ensure I have everything I need and nothing I don't for four days of meals. Now none of these meals require any culinary expertise, little to no culinary experience. We're not gonna be souffling and chiffonading and emulsifying and flambéing. You just need a stovetop and an oven. And really the oven's not even necessary. Just a stovetop and a pan. So if you're in an apartment or the barracks or a dorm room that doesn't have an oven, you can still make all these meals. You just need a pan and a flame, a barbell and some chalk. A healthy meal in my book looks like this. Got a reasonable amount of calories, that depends on the individual, a decent amount of protein, low to moderate amount of saturated fat, throw in some fiber, and I call it a balanced meal. So my template for creating meals is simple. For each meal, I want one protein, one carbohydrate, and one vegetable. The protein can be chicken or turkey, really any poultry, beef or any red meat, fish, pork, tofu, if you're into that. The carbohydrate for me is usually rice, potatoes, or pasta. Sometimes it's couscous or quinoa because I'm from California. Other times it could be bread if I have something like a chicken sandwich. And the vegetable, anything goes. This template of protein, carbohydrate, vegetable has tons of variations. They're like my main movements. My main exercises are my compound exercises, like my squats, overhead press, and deadlifts. I could do high bar squats, low bar squats, front squats, quad squats, pin squats, tempo squats, strict press, push press, log press, incline press, banded deadlifts, barbell deadlifts, trap bar deadlifts, dexter deadlifts, block pulls. Chicken could be barbecued chicken, teriyaki chicken, chicken thighs, chicken breast, bone in, skin on, oven roasted chicken, smoked whole chicken. That's, that's about it. Tons of variation, it does not need to be boring. So here we go, a look into this week's menu. We've got night one, Monday night, it's gonna be teriyaki chicken, steamed white rice, and vegetable. It's gonna be like an easy stir fry dinner. Okay, here we go. So I've got boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I'm gonna marinate for about 30 minutes in this teriyaki marinade. It's just a liquid marinade. Don't get teriyaki sauce, real thick stuff with sugar. That'll just burn when you cook it. This is just a liquid marinade, 30 minutes while I get everything else prepped. Veggies are gonna be broccoli, carrots, snap peas, and a can of baby corn. You can use any vegetables you want. You can also find bags of stir-fried vegetables. We just grabbed some fresh ones at the grocery store, and this is what we got. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. So this stir fry is not traditional stir fry. It's kind of all separated, roasted, but the pan's gonna be heated to medium high heat, a little bit of oil, sesame oil if you wanna be fancy, and that marinated chicken after 30 minutes is gonna go into the pan. I'm gonna cook this for four to five minutes per side, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven to finish. For the vegetables, I'm gonna put it in this clean bowl. I did clean it after I had chicken in it and put a little bit of that marinade on it. It doesn't need to soak here. I'm immediately gonna cook these. I'm not letting them soak uh, in the marinade. A little bit of garlic in there. Use the best utensils in the kitchen, your bare hands. And I'm gonna put this in the oven to roast after flipping the chicken here. Quick tip, when you're preheating the oven, put the pan in there so that it gets hot. Uh, before you put the vegetables on. They'll get a nice roast on there. So the vegetables go in and the chicken goes in right after that. And these are gonna sit in there for 15 minutes. Chicken's gonna finish cooking and the vegetables are gonna roast. Meanwhile, I'll make some rice. I'm using an instant pot. You can use any rice cooker you want. You could cook rice on the stove top. I used to do that. Just a couple of cups of cooked white rice, steamed white rice. And that is it. 
We got roasted stir fry vegetables with the chicken. I like to slice the chicken up, the chicken thighs into pieces. It kind of stores better and it's easier to serve as well. Gives a little more stir fry feel also. This was great the next day as leftovers for lunch. So that's all of it together. Steamed white rice, chicken teriyaki, and some roasted stir fry vegetables. Tuesday night, salmon, roasted potatoes, and vegetables. Next up, we got a bag of baby gold potatoes that we're gonna roast. I slice them in half so they cook, they cook a little bit faster in the oven. Put a little oil on them, olive oil, avocado oil, whatever and some seasoning, just a salt, pepper, or garlic seasoning, whatever seasoning you want. You can use barbecue seasoning, doesn't matter. Put them in the oven, got that pan in there, preheating with the oven, so it's nice and hot when I throw the potatoes on. And this is at 425, gonna cook these for 30 minutes, so leave them in there alone for 15 minutes. Now the vegetables, got these enormous uh, Brussels sprouts that I'm gonna chop into quarters. Carrots and a red onion. Gonna put them in that bowl that the potatoes were in, put the same thing, oil and some of the same seasoning that was on the potatoes, and mix them up. After 15 minutes of cooking for the potatoes, those are gonna go in there with them. So salmon, we got some lemon pepper. Season up this salmon. I don't put any oil in the salmon because I put oil in the pan. And when I cook the salmon, nope, we're going back to the oven. All right, so 15 minutes have passed, with the potatoes, stir them around. You see they got some nice color on them. I'm gonna throw the vegetables in there for another 15 minutes. So it's 15 minutes for the veg and 30 minutes total for the potatoes. 425 degrees. Medium to medium high heat, a little oil, and put the salmon down. These are gonna cook four or five minutes per side. And that's it, roasted vegetables, roasted potatoes, served alongside some salmon. Put a little lemon juice on that salmon, a beautiful meal. Wednesday night, meatballs, pasta, and salad. This is definitely the easiest meal of the week. These are already cooked chicken meatballs, pre-cooked chicken meatballs. A red pasta sauce, any sauce, this was on sale, just a tomato, basil, red sauce and a box of pasta. This is actually half a box of rigatoni pasta and half a box of egg noodle pasta. This is like a sin, an Italian sin. I'm just putting these together, I don't care. They were both left over from previous meals. And I got a salad kit, Caesar salad kit that I'll be eating. This has like no nutritional value, it's just a crunch, just more calories, I guess. So I had uh, mushrooms and onions left over from a meal earlier this weekend. And I'm gonna throw them in there, saute them before I put the meatballs in, totally optional. This just beefs up the, the sauce a little bit. Put some more garlic in, I put garlic on everything. So again, cooked meatballs, you're just putting them in here to warm up and really get a, a saute on them, get some texture on them. After the meatballs are heated up, turn the heat down to medium, medium low. Add the red sauce and let all that simmer while the pasta cooks. Half a box of rigatoni pasta, half a box of that, half a bag of that egg noodle pasta. And that's it. Dinner is served. You could put some red pepper flakes on this, maybe some shredded Parmesan cheese if you got it lying around. That's amore. Thursday night, barbecued pork tenderloin, rice pilaf, and grilled vegetables. Okay, so I broke down and I did use my grill for this. This is pork tenderloin, two pork tenderloins. Pretty cheap and delicious. It's the beef tenderloin, filet mignon of pork. Very tender, awesome meal. Box of rice pilaf. Just cook it according to the directions on the box. Took 20 minutes for these to cook while I grilled the pork tenderloin and some roasted vegetables. We had broccolini, zucchini squash, and some cherry tomatoes in this barbecue basket. I just put a little oil and seasoning on them, threw them in the basket, they're gonna go on the grill 
alongside the pork tenderloin. It was dark out, so I didn't record much of this, but here's what they look like done. Put a little barbecue sauce on these also. And that's it. Rice pilaf is done 20 minutes later. Now these pork tenderloin were pretty cheap. You could find pre-marinated pork tenderloin that was twice as expensive as this. So I just put my own seasoning and barbecue sauce on it, but it's delicious. So there you go, barbecued pork tenderloin, rice pilaf, and some roasted vegetables. I usually plan my meals four to five days in advance. Going to the grocery store twice a week is not a big deal for me. Uh, I don't like to get seven days in a row just because the produce doesn't last very long and the meat's not always great unless it's frozen. So four to five days usually works best for me. On these days also, we lately have been having a lot of events as a family, so I already know what we're gonna be eating. And these days, if we do have the off day and I'm able to cook here, I like to cook something new or something that takes a lot of time, like out on the smoker. So this day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is usually played by ear. So to recap, before going to the store, write down your meals. One protein, one carbohydrate, one vegetable. Those are your main movements. Write down any accessory ingredients like marinade, barbecue sauce, seasoning, maybe some lemons for lemon juice on the salmon, etc. Plan your meal schedule according to what holds best in the fridge or cupboard. For example, I usually buy frozen wild caught salmon so I can have that meal towards the end of the week because it will hold in the freezer. I like to cook chicken sooner rather than later. If I buy certain fresh veggies, I try to use those earlier in the week. Box pasta and rice I can use towards the end of the week. So just plan your meals accordingly. I also try to plan time consuming meals on evenings that are more open for me and my family and then quick easy meals on evenings that I know I'll be busy. In fact, sometimes I'll cook dinner in the middle of the day if I don't have time, if I know I'm not gonna have time in the evening. Some of these meals you see in this video I actually cooked in the afternoon because I wasn't gonna be able to cook and record later on in the evening. That's it, thanks for watching and always remember, Trend on time! Yeah.